Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Here we are at Rogers Mansion in Southampton, Long Island. Um, we're just about to start our investigation here. Um, we're going to kind of walk through the house, see what we get. We have investigated this location quite a few times in the past. Had some really interesting experiences. Um, caught a lot of audio evidence here as well. Um, Tom, if you want to jump in and talk about your experience quick while here. Yeah, I mean, one of my craziest experiences was here uh, during the EVP session with and I. Um, I asked the question if he wants to leave, he make a lot of noise, and we actually had a light bulb explode between us. And I think we'll, uh, we'll be walking down that area a little later, and we'll show you where that happened, but that was pretty crazy. Yeah, and then after that happened, I know um, you guys went back down there, and um, one of our investigators taken a couple of photos with the digital camera, and we caught like a black mass in like right. half of the photo down in the basement where that light bulb happens. So, um, you know, we'll see what we get tonight. You know, it is hit or miss, not, you know, stuff doesn't happen every time. So, but um, here we are and uh, we'll see what we get. Dimitri, I don't know if you want to add anything or? Uh, one of the things that they have in here is the presentation room. And in the presentation room is where I've actually had the most experiences. Right. Uh, we were actually breaking down one time and I was just walking into the room to grab our DVR camera and I just heard like chatter, like people talking. And so we, I grabbed it, I left, and I came back in to grab something else. And again, I hear the chatter. And as soon as I walk in the room, I'm like, hello? Like, all the voices just stop. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really interesting. This place has a lot of history to it. And uh, we're going to kind of break all that down throughout the night and do some investigating. So join us on our latest episode of Real Ghost Hunting. And um, I had an experience as well on the second floor in um, Clara's room. But once we, once we get up there, I'll show you like what exactly yep. happened. So, but, uh, all right, guys, here we go. Let's do it. Right. Over here is our DVR system. We have four cameras set up tonight. We have one set up in the presentation room that I was just talking about. We have another camera set up in the dining room kitchen area. Kitchen area. Uh, over here we have a camera set up on the second floor hallway. And this is the camera set up in the basement. This is the area where we had the light bulb explode where Tom and Will had a uh, paranormal experience there. So uh, we're gonna go downstairs first start up in the basement, and then we're going to work our way up through the house. So, yeah, let's grab our equipment throw it down. You guys are right? Yeah. Let's go.
I'll let you guys take a look. Just again, Tom busts his ass, so I want to get that on video. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Tonight, right? Setting tonight, up. yeah. Saw something out of the corner of my eye and felt it just breathe between me and the the, the bricks here. So. Usually, when we're here, uh, right behind is kind of like the furnace area, and I always see like shadows back in there. So I uh, I set up a motion sensor IR and camera in there. So if there is any movement, hopefully we'll be able to capture that on the trail cam. So what I like to do is um, go into that room and um, kind of play out, show everyone like where you were standing, where Will was standing, and like where that whole thing. Yep. Um, we also have a DVR camera set up in here with uh, a laser projector, static pods, motion sensor, which is probably going to kick on. Or not. We got a little bell here. Service is up. There is a static pod right there. So I'll get out of here and watch out for the gun. Yep. So where were you standing? So that night, I was actually standing over, or you sitting over in that corner. In fact, that way. Okay. Will was over in this corner. Oh, I thought you were here. No, I was all the way over there. And, uh, okay. Sitting over there and, you know, what was that? You just yeah. It's not like something was moving upstairs above us. Like something dragging. I just heard somebody up there. I just heard a voice. I heard somebody say hello. A male voice say hello. Did you hear that? They're gonna go check out. I don't know if it's somebody or not, but we heard what sounded like movement upstairs and a male say hello. I don't know if I captured it on audio or not. I'm not gonna stop it. We'll find out in the analysis section. Even though if we hear something, we never stop our audio device. We always let it record because the minute you stop it, you're not picking up what's coming afterwards. So we'll go back to it. I make a note in my audio. So when we get to that part, pay a lot more attention to it. Did you guys as hear? soon as I went upstairs, I said, I was like, hello. Uh -huh. And right as soon as I said it, Tom heard somebody say, hello back. And then I, as we were just coming back, we just walked to the downstairs of the house. I locked the door. Okay. And as I came back in here, I said, hello, one more time. Yeah. And then from behind me, I heard, hey. So weird. Do we go upstairs or is this, you know, like, is this one of those things where the it's reason why, us away. so the reason why the rifle is there, um, supposedly some of our investigators have experience with the rifle that's there. Um, they feel like there's an attachment to it and every time we get close to it, something always happens and we feel like it's trying to drag us away from it. That's why we have that there. We have a motion sensor on it with the static pods on it, the VR cameras on it, these laser projectors on that. So. Um, 
we're trying to see if that's you know like a control object basically an attachment um, it's called the relative time to object theory that um, objects you know when people pass away they're attached to a specific object this being the rifle um, we're trying to see if that has any any clarification to that I think we should go back over there Yes. That's yeah. Uh, did you set up that motion, Hudson? Yeah. Yeah, this is the rifle right here. You can see that's one of our static pods, detects static electricity. That was very interesting. This this feels very heavy down here all of a sudden. Like I'm actually getting like, like kind of how I felt the night with the light bulb. You know, we'll spend a little bit of time down here and see see what happens. Um, I got the electro smog. I'm going to try to put this. That's me. So. This is like going off, but let me try to get this not low. I'll go to where I was that night. And yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'll go up to this one. <clears throat> I'm going to kneel down right over here. We're going to get hit with it. Awesome. Yep. Tom, let me know when you're in place. What was that? Let me know when you're in place. I'm here. How's it going tonight? My name is Mike. We have Dimitri and Tom with us. Can you tell me your name? We've been coming here a lot lately and we know that you're here. We, we know that, you know, you, you, you like that rifle that's over there. We don't mean you any harm. We want to communicate with you. Can, is there a way you can try to communicate with us? We have a couple of devices on the ground that light up blue if you walk by them. There's another device here with the green light on it. Can you make that go red? Or can you can you throw an object? If you don't want us to be here, if we if you don't want us here, can you throw an object? Can you break an object for us? Do you hear that? What do you hear? I hear a voice above us. I don't hear it. Tom, may I ask you a question? If you want us to leave, make a loud noise, then we'll leave. I really like this rifle. Can I take it home with me?
that was me. If you're here, give us a sign of your presence. We know you've done it before. Make some sort of a loud noise or, or do something so we know you're here for sure. You don't want us to leave. You want to stay here and communicate with us. Let us know that too. Make a loud noise or give us a sign of your presence. That's why we're here. We're here to speak with you. that rifle for? Was it for hunting? Or was it used in a war? Some sort of noise on the other side of the basement, like over there. I heard like a like a tap, but I don't think it was. I, like a, I thought it was like a scraping sound. I I thought I heard what sounded like a chirp. Yeah, like a chirp almost, but I didn't hear anything. Either. No, I didn't either. Natural's got to balance before it doesn't it then. That's true. I mean, I have an 1863 Springfield rifle at home. I'm really into old guns. Can I shoot that one? Would you mind? You guys want to head up to the second floor, uh, the first floor? How are you guys feeling down here? Dimitri? Dimitri and Tom? Yes. You guys want to head up to the first floor? I kind of do, yeah. All right, let's go to the first floor. Thank you for speaking with us. Yes, thank you um, very much. We will be around for a little while longer. If you do want to communicate with us, we'll be on the first floor. Um, I will be back later to um, try to shoot your rifle. Thank you. You don't mind. Connor, why don't you head upstairs first?
not as sensitive as I thought. Yeah, it's sensitive to that. When you said that, I just, I, it's not on the lowest part. It's kind of like in the middle. Which is cool. I'm glad it has one to use that to get where you are. Yeah. yeah. I have a presentation room. Uh, yeah, let's go to the presentation room. I'm going to close this door. Yep. Upstairs, if you don't mind. Don't mind. Okay. I just heard a voice. What did you hear? I don't know what it was, but something speaking from that direction. From like? Towards the offices. Really? 
Do you not want us here? Can you do that again if you want us to leave? I just heard a voice. What did you hear? Say so, yeah. Can we can you do that again? That was me. I, I just heard a voice now. Mm-hmm. We're coming in! Like it's to the point where you feel like you're going to see somebody in the house. This is the office where last time we were here, I was outside and I saw something walk past this window. Which, I mean, this window's up against the wall, so no one should be walking past this window. All right. And, you know, big dollhouse. Maybe it was Bambi. Could have been Bambi. Bambi. Do you want us to leave? Hold on, shh. You heard it, Connor? What'd you hear? Female down here. That's clatter. I'm gonna log the um, energy, energy loss. loss. Yeah. Clara, is that you? Clara, is that you? We came over for a visit. Do you mind having some company for a little while? You know what I do? I want to do. I want, I want Connor to go in the front with the camera. And we're going to walk slow into Clara's room and just kind of like when you get to the doorway. Kind of get the camera in there and pan it on the bed. I have the electro smog meter on there. I just want to know when we are. Yeah. I just want to see yeah. him walk in underneath. <clears throat> Actually, I have a headache right now. Really? I feel like pressure. I hope the barometer when you need it, right? Back in Clara's room. Clara, I'm really tired. Do you mind if I stay here for tonight?
you're here with us, can you make that that device with the green light on it go up? If, we, if you want us to leave your room, can you make that light go up into red? We'd mean you no harm, no disrespect. If you make that meter go up into red, we'll leave this room right now. Can you do that for us? If you don't make that meter go into the red, we're going to stay here for a little while, okay? If you don't mind us being here, awesome. There's no radiation in here, really. Wait, did you just sigh or exhale? I went like that. No. I didn't sigh or exhale that time. I just heard something wrong. I thought I heard like a shh. Hello? There's people talking outside the window here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I was going to say that's outside. <laughs> you can well, tell the really difference. Like, you can definitely tell yeah. if it's outside. Yeah. Where does this lead to, though? That is a restaurant right back oh, out there. Okay. Uh, that's not the property. I heard a gentleman down this way. And right before that, I heard like a. That was not me. I, I was clearing my nose. No, it wasn't that. It was it was just like a sigh or a loud exhale. I think we should go back downstairs and see if um if we can shoot that gun. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's go for it. Sounds good. It's a nice gun. It is nice. Let's go right? get my trifield meter. You want me to grab your electro swag, Mike? exhausted these batteries. I've been on this for three investigations now and it's been saying like battery exhausted. And turn, like, it turn it off, turn it on my guy. Yeah, I, no, I, I do that all they won't even turn back on anymore. And if they're finally dead. <clears throat> What's upstairs here Connor? Uh, storage attic but there's also a staircase that goes up out to the roof. If we go up there we're all gonna have to crouch. Might have been the light from the camera. Hello. They are getting Anyone up there? And I charged it today too. Anybody home? Can we come upstairs? If you don't say no, we're going to come up. Let's go to the second, the first floor. Huh? 
Huh? Unless you guys want to go up the third floor up here. Uh, I'll go wherever. We have, we have uh, like. Let's get back to the first floor. It's like a half an hour. Okay. So. Okay. Let's get back to the presentation room. See if anything's happening. Okay. I'm gonna mess with the REM pod. See if anything. Yeah. Goes off. Let's go for it. Um. Yeah. Let's do that. Electricity. Yeah. That was me Did you just make a bang? I, I did that. Yeah. Thank but God. Before that, I heard like a bang. Right after you asked your question, I heard a bang. Can you do that again? Can you give us? Can you make that bang louder? Can you do that for us? I know. I know it might take a lot of energy to try to do that, but. Try real hard. You give us another loud bang. Try to you know, really put yourself into it. If you can't do that, you can get a little closer to us. We have a device right here that I'm lighting up right now. That device. If you come over, I'm going to show you. You just put your hand by it, it'll light up like that. See how it's not hurting me? If you could do that for us, that would be great. Just to show that you are here with us and you do want to communicate with us. We want to hear your story. Can you do that for us? Oh, yeah. yeah. So for 
for the viewers, um, we're going to try to do a PSP7 spirit box session. Basically, what that does is it scans AM or FM radio frequencies. But while it's scanning, you hear the scan. And the theory is that a ghost, a spirit, whatever you want to call it, will try to communicate with us through radio frequencies and radio signals. And as it's speaking and saying, you know, whatever they have, word, sentence, whatever, it'll go through multiple channels. Um, the device is called a PSP7 spirit box, also called an ITC device, which is instrumental transcommunication. So um, we're going to set that up now. We set it usually to AM frequencies. Um, FM frequencies are, are a lot more broadcasting on Long Island, so we kind of stick to AM. Even though there are AM broadcasts, you'll probably hear some voices like that. Um, we'll probably pick stuff like that up, but we'll kind of know them now. So. Here with us, you can try to communicate with us through this device. That's it, okay or not? You need to know the Can you move in the chair that sound? So, my name is Mike. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me the name of this house? How many fingers am I holding up?
Is it okay if we end this session right now? I heard that too. If you want us to stay there, you have to try to communicate with us. What is your name? Yeah. Like, like several mile like thuds couple them around. Yeah. That's what I hear about every two weeks here. Where the hell is that? It was like, it wasn't in here. It was no, it's, it's, it's downstairs. downstairs. Down like the upstairs hallway. I don't think it was upstairs. I think it was on this floor. I felt it on the floor. Let's go check out the dining room area. Let's go mess with the... Uh, uh, go mess with the GFO? Yeah. So you get that a lot, the bang? About every two weeks or so, roughly. Can you I mean, by yourself? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes other people, but it could be middle of the day. Yeah, that's good. I, I, if it was daytime, I wouldn't even care. <coughs> it's almost worse when it's daytime and you're alone. That, that was me. That was me. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was all of us. It was all of us, guys. I'm gonna log this time. Are we bothering you? It's like cat and mouse tonight, man. Yes. Tom's going for it. He's like, Hello? Yeah, I'm done. I'm going down there. Anyone down there? Go down there by yourself, Tom. Let me grab my audio. Did you do it? I'll go down there. Huh? We'll stay up here. Let's listen for the screams. <clears throat> we hear screams, we're leaving you. <laughs> Do you want to get uh, the chairs for the presentation room? Yeah, we can do that. So we don't have to I just, want to, I just want to sit and see. Yeah, that's good. I'll and I'm going to do say I'll, I'll be quiet down here, so. That's fine. Do your thing.
Yeah. I think it was them. I think they had just... Uh, we're gonna close the door up here, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Could have been that. I think it was right when they walked back in the room. No, I was a little uh, playing before when the uh, when all hell broke loose, but so right about here is where the light bulb was smashed. We still don't know if it came off one of these shelves or somewhere else, but even if it came off a shelf, like that light bulb didn't just roll off a shelf and break, it was it was smashed. And this is the same area where uh, the other investigator, Will, got the photo of a black mass pretty much right where we found the smashed light bulb. So just to give me an idea that that's where this happened, I was on the other side like I was earlier. My audio was nowhere near it, and it was so loud in that audio get a chance you could actually listen to it it's on the the Southampton website um, under their ghost section um, check it out it's pretty uh, pretty intense stuff and this is where it happened but for now I'll find a quiet spot to sit and see if we uh, pick up on anything See, that's them moving around up there. Hey, are you guys walking around upstairs? Yeah, that's up. Yeah, that's up. 10-4. down here with us. The crowds are all gone now. Just us. We communicate before, I'd love to do it again. How do you feel about us handling your rifle? It's a nice gun. I'm thinking about getting a new, a new gun myself. That one would be perfect. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about us all being here? Do you like us talking to you, or would you rather us leave you alone?
lot of stuff down here for you to play with and move. It'd be real easy for you to show us a sign of your, your being here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the burner. You hear a bang followed by a weird hiss. That's all the pipes. Definitely got a good reaction shot though. going to be here too much longer with you tonight. So if you do want to communicate with us, this is going to be your, your last chance. Or if you don't want us here and you want to tell us that too, tell us. We will pack our things and go. Make a loud noise or give, give us some other sign of your presence. We will pack up and we will leave you alone for tonight. We promise. Try it out, see how it feels. What do you think? Take it home, trying it out for a little while. See if I want to keep it. You okay with that? Give it a good home. Now I gotta think about that seem to object so if you're willing to share your your weapon with me I might have to take you up on that I'm gonna think about that but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back upstairs now Unless you got something to say to me, or you want to let me know, you know, how you feel about me being here, or touching your your rifle there, then head back upstairs. All right, Tom, we are wrapping up. We finish up down there. Coming up. Ten four. All right. Well, thank you for speaking with me tonight. Stay here. I'll come back and visit you. You can't come visit me. We'll come back and visit soon. Over by the door. Yeah. Do 
Bye. How was it? Bye. Bye. Very different feel than when we were down there before we were standing before it's quiet. Bye. 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 We put the. Uh, where's this thing? It's called a light. The bulb actually blew earlier. We have three audios rolling, so we'll see what happens. It seemed it seemed but, pretty active tonight yeah. uh, for a regular investigation. Right. Yeah, so, a lot of personal experiences, mm -hmm. which is we'll, good. Uh, we'll go back and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, when we were when we were downstairs in the basement, we felt like the the sound came from around this area. Oh yeah, we have a geophone over there with a camera on it. Nobody else is in the house, so we're kind of hoping that if, if we can get the audio. With the bang sound, the voice, and that going off on camera, it's pretty solid. So yeah. We'll see what happens when we do the analysis, but um, we'll get back to you. We'll let you know how it is, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the reveal. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Good night. That's Al Sheets. Thank you for joining us on this latest edition of Lippy Presents Real Ghost Hunting. It's coming in 2020. Watch Real Ghost Hunting, the reveal show to find out anything that we captured on this investigation from tonight's episode. If you would like, you can follow us further by liking, sharing, and subscribing our videos, and clicking the little notification bell to know all of our content is being uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys very much for joining us on Real Ghost Hunting, and until next time, take care. <laughs>